welcome back to my channel where we're about that breaking cycles life now for today's encouragement we're going back to the book of psalms and it is from chapter 30 this time verse 5 and it says for his anger is but for a moment his favor is for life weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning wow that's refreshing right so This is actually a question, like just reading this, it reminds me of a question that is often asked in regards to God when it comes to Christianity, right? Like why is God, why does God get angry? Especially in the Old Testament, a lot of people are like, why did he do this? Why did he do that? Why did he do this? And I always answer that question in this way and it's to say guys why would your parent scold you why would your parent discipline you when you're doing something wrong and you are deliberately not listening to them right and then i would often see on their face like oh wow i never really thought of that and it's the truth God is our father and it does say in the scripture I can't remember the scripture right now but I know it does say like God God disciplines us like a father would discipline his child and we oftentimes forget that as Christians or as human beings in in total um and that is we just expect because it does say his favor is for life right but we always want to think that god basically has no feelings and that we can do whatever we want because his favor his grace is for eternity we think we can do what we want and just live life the way we want because oh god is always there and i often look at it i'm like you as a human being would not like someone taking advantage of you in such a manner why is it that we would oftentimes try to do that with God? Like, where is the respect? Where is the, where is the level of reverence in regards to him? And he, imagine, if we can respect our parents in that way, how much more the supreme God, the sovereign God, the omnipotent God, the one who basically holds the key for key to life and death, how much more? right and and i think we need to be reminded of that that god is a parent and it says in his word if you love him you keep his commandments basically if just as i i i had explained in a previous devotional if you love someone wouldn't you respect their boundaries wouldn't you respect their their rules that they have in any relationship being being a parent child friendship relationship boy girl relationship or even marriage right wouldn't we respect those persons because in loving someone you respect them right and it's the same thing with god because even though his anger is but for a moment guys he still does have anger and if we are shaped in his image we can get angry that means that god can get angry and we ought to recognize that and it's not to say that you're going to be robots now and try not to get god angry it's a simple look at it from a friendship point of view or a relationship point of view as i said you love someone you try your best not to anger that person right because you do it out of love you're not doing it because you're a robot and you are a, you're afraid or anything no you would like to see that person happy you would like to see that person be their best version around you right so God is forgiving, God is long-suffering, and his favor is for life. That's the great thing about it. Even though he does get angry, and as human beings, when we get angry, oftentimes it's prolonged, and we should endeavor to change that and be like Christ, where it's just for a moment. Um, God's favor, 
or favor is not necessarily it seems as if in human in 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 the human world our favor is just for a moment but our anger is for life right <laughs> right so um we need to do that and we need to remember that even though we may do something to upset god it's, it's his anger is just for a moment and uh, his favor is for life so that means that even though we may sin and we may hurt him if we're willing and if we confess our sins guys his favor that is for life will definitely work in our favor and we will receive his grace and we can get back up and continue this journey with him because he loves us and as a friend the friend that he is the best friend that he is he wants us to basically be happy and to reign with him forever as i've always been saying now when it is that we're going through trials or anything of the sort please remember guys weeping may endure for a night the pain the struggle it seems as if it's it's never ending but guys be reminded it's just for a night right just for a night and that's figuratively speaking it's just for a night just for a moment just for a period of time but joy god's joy god's genuine sincere joy comes in the morning and let's be reminded of that that even if it's not like a literal child that you're going through right now on earth this christian journey the weeping that we are we are dealing with the weeping that is to come in regards to what will happen before jesus comes it's just for a moment just for a night guys and when our father in heaven returns all the joy that will come in the morning will be just amazing and we'll all look back and say this was worth it this was really worth it so guys just keep pushing man that's my admonition for you today and remember that regardless of how you may anger god we may fall just get back up his favor is for a life and whatever trial that you're going through guys it's just for a night and joy will come in the morning okay guys let's let's have that hope to know that joy will come in the morning and that god's favor is for life okay so